Hi everyone, and welcome to the third and final part of this VIP video. I could watch them all day. So, favorite candles. I will. Um, I am basically um, reacting to. I'm um, getting the normal chai and by the normal, the normal chai. Cinnamon, trick, spiced vanilla. Trick, trick. I love cinnamon. I love I vanilla. Those are my two um, go-to's. I love so pumpkin spice Don't forget the link will be in, in the box below. Um, right Please go and check out our YouTube channel. From Bath and Body. Follow us on social media. This one smells good. My kids hate uh, it. Check out our video. Please like, comment, do everything else. We're burning it. She <laughs> decided to have more followers um, what is your and subscribers. Your favorite town or city, and why? And she makes great content as well. I love um, St. Petersburg because of the beach in St. Pete, Florida. Um, the beach is like my go-to, my escape. I love the beach. Um, and I also loved the little town in California called Clovis. It was a cute little town. It was just a cute, small little town, but it was so adorable. It's just, I, I love something about small little towns. You know, like the the show Ooh, Gilmore boy. Girls, where Whoa. they lived in that little town where tight. like everybody knew everybody, and it was so cute for Christmas. Yeah. That's like my I've ideal been, place where I would want to live. I would want to um, live in a little town like, like that where you could just walk. Films. From your house to downtown and everything um, is right there and like everybody's off, off friends. 15, I think that would be like my ideal no. scenario, but this I live is, in the country now. And this like, is, um, town is like 15 the, the minutes cheese. away. But we have um, video is, our film. Your favorite social media channel. Wow. Okay, so like as far as the YouTube goes, my favorite. I always am film like a bunch of Dawson. videos and then. I love for his videos. Well, I like, did, he can I put out one video a year and, and I'll count down the days until he puts one out. Like, um, I love Shane Dawson, his conspiracy and theories. And then when I've done that, um, I... And, like, like his haunted... My mom, we actually I like scary stuff, so, like, when he does, like, his my haunted mom, hotels and, and haunted places, I just love it. Um... Yeah, and as far as like plus and size, if I feel that I've done big on, well, enough reaction videos, like then I will blush. stop and have she a play. She's from like a plus size YouTuber, making reaction but video. Her style. She does a lot of like styling videos and vlogs. I love her. Um, X Britney eighty nine. I love her energy. She's just she just motivates me. She motivated me and inspired me to open my channel because she was just so so confident and I used to watch her for years before I even started and just watching her dance around her videos and just not give a fuck just inspired me so, so much again. It was one of my reasons for opening my channel um and I do love learning to be fearless and um sometimes I watch Trisha Paytas I used to be a big fan Trisha um but Paytas. you know I have like a, it's not a love hate I relationship. Watch, um, I love her, Jesus, but um, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. um, but I don't sometimes anymore. Sometimes like her behaviors, like some things, you know, you don't agree with. You're not going to agree with everything somebody says or puts out. So I watch her like from a distance. If that makes sense, I watch some of her stuff. Um, but Shane Dawson definitely my number one. What is your favorite place to take an out of town guest? Probably Tampa, St. Petersburg, and Orlando. In Florida, there's a lot of things to do out there. Um, especially like Orlando, there's so much to do. Like there's all the Disney parks, there's just a lot to do. So probably Orlando. Orlando, Florida. What is your favorite subject in high school? My favorite subject was, um, I was in the, I was in acting in high school. I was in the drama. Um, I was in advanced drama and that was my number one. I always knew I wanted to do something related to acting or, you know, behind the camera. It was just like my comfort zone. I loved it. So definitely act drama was, I did beginner. My I did factory, I'm looking from high school is mad. Well, I was in high school. So. Because I was very good at math. It was a lot of fun. I'm back in high school. Least favorite subject was math. And it's still my least favorite subject. Mm. I just suck at math. What was your favorite TV show when you were a child? Oh my God. When I was yeah, a kid. I, I think my list <laughs> um, I want to say the one I was hooked on the most uh, was done. Saved by the by, Bell. By high school was Definitely, I used to watch The Brady Bunch, Saved by the Bell, Charles in Charge, 
Zoobly Zoo when I was real little. Yeah. Um, Saved by the Bell. I go Saved by the Bell. No, my number one was Saved by the Bell. I think you want to be Kelly. Kelly uh, Kelly Kelly and the two TV movies. <laughs> but yeah, it was good times. Um, what do you love about the TV show? I used to watch Saved by the Bell on Nickelodeon years right ago. Right now, my favorite TV show. Um, also, the show doesn't air on Nickelodeon and, right anymore. Right now, I don't have a favorite one because I've watched um, so many good ones. Um, but it's a classic TV program. I do love program. Jersey Shore only because it's a fucking disaster. And, and I'm happy that I've got the TV. But um, that's like old school stuff. Um, I did love The L Word when it came out. Um, only because I, I identified with a lot of it. And I, I was just like this, this video. learning more about myself and who I am. And The L Word was just something that just like resonated with me. It's an old show. Um, it just resonated with a lot of my life and mm. explained a lot of things for me. So mm. I would probably have to say that's what I loved the most. My favorite was The L Word. And it just... Let me see The L Word. I could relate to a lot. A lot of it, so it's a good show. Um, are you scared of heights? Yes, super, super high up. Yes, I'm definitely scared of airplanes and being on a flight. Terrifying to mm. me. Terrifying. Are you high maintenance? No, I have been on a plane with within my means. Um, I don't try to three portray times. living above my means because I think the last time I've been on a plane was. Are back you in to build your own empire or um, unleash the potential of others? 2012. I want to say both. Like, because I want me and my family went to a lot of watches for a certain day. Um, well, but at the same time, while I'm doing that, I want to inspire other people to go for their goals and to know that you can accomplish anything regardless of your looks, regardless uh, of your size, I would like to regardless go on that plane of again one day. what society says is okay. Is it going like, on I want people to feel again. inspired, to get that feeling from watching my videos is, hey, she can do this. Hey, she has a chronic illness. Hey, she's overweight. She's still doing it. I want other people they to feel be like, on hey, the I can do it too. So, so, yeah. I'll write a board again. Um, are you a dog person or a cat person? I am a no pet person, but if I had to pick one, I would say a dog. But I love the teacups, the little teacup puppies. If I had to get a dog, that would be the only one I want. It's a little tiny teacup. The little tiny ones that fit in your hands and you could put in your purse. And yeah, that would be my ideal scenario. Are you a fan of any sports teams? No, I'm not a sports girl. I don't know shit about football, Me, shit about basketball, I'm a family who supports um, so, Latin audience. We is a football a team based no. in East London. It is what it is. I don't, I mean, some people would say I am. I feel like I burn everything. And My attention span for cooking the is like... Pool. Is it Brian? I burn. Um, groups. I will burn the Brian Stadium. Is Brian Groves Stadium. <laughs> Anything. I just burn everything. I just can't. Something like that. Um, um, I think this year is going to go out in August, so I presume the next the next season will have started already. Probably go a little bit more outside of my comfort zone as far as outfits that I wear, um, with like my plus size clothing stuff. Um drive to further places drive outside of my comfort zone to get to places that i really want to go to like i really want to go to the beach i really want to go to do a lot of stuff like an hour two hours three hours from here but i have really bad driving anxiety over like bridges so but i will get there i'm just it's it's a process i gotta do baby steps so yeah. <laughs> um, what is good about how you are living your life right now? We're going to end it with that one. Oh. What is good about how I'm living my life right now is I feel like I have done a 360 from the life that I used to have and the things that I had to do to survive. Um, and I'm not going to go like into detail, but if a lot of you have followed me from a long time ago, you probably know where I'm getting at with that. Um, the things that I used to accept just to keep a roof over our head, 
versus now. I don't have to do those things. And um, I live unapolo unapologetically. I don't need other people's validation. I don't need people to agree with my choices. I don't... I just feel like I'm more aligned with what I want to do and more... I know myself better and I know what my goals are. Um, I think once you are pursuing like what you truly want to do, it's it doesn't feel like... It shouldn't, it doesn't feel like hard because, or stressful. I mean, obviously you're going to have day-to-day -day stress, but it doesn't feel like a chore when you're doing something you love. And what I'm doing now to pursue my goals is something I absolutely love. So I feel like it's in alignment with what I want to do further on, like with all my goals. Um, I feel like right now I'm in a place where My peace is my number one priority. My peace, having a peaceful home, keeping my home peaceful. No drama, no fighting, no screaming, none of that. It's just, I'm in a good place and I want to keep it and I will protect yeah. that over anything. So, I'm happy with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed place. this small I am in a good place as well. Hopefully Give you a I'm chance to get to know me a little bit better. I, uh, I am in, and I'm if you guys like this type of videos, um, I'm comment down below and let me know um, if you want to see another tag, another tag video. Just feel free to suggest what type of tags doing. you want to see. And thank you so much for watching live. and I'll see you guys next time. And that's the end of the video. Yeah. I love making, um, well, I love my YouTube journey and my journey to web being <sighs> so anyway um yeah well done for Noah for filming this um, tie great tie if you want to do the tie then go ahead um I'm sure you can find questions on the internet or on Google and yeah I'm going to end it here before I get boring and awkward and so thank you very much for watching please hit and hit the bell icon leave a like comment follow me on twitter and instagram at positive world 23 and i will see you guys next time with a brand new video bye now